Good morning. Pastor Sean here. Today is Friday, October 25th, and this is your morning prayer. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, moving along in Mark, we have uh, chapter 13 that we get into today. And I uh, just pulled one verse out of the, the first little section here. Uh, Mark chapter 13, verse 13. When Jesus says, You will be hated uh, by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. Now this is in a whole discourse that, that Jesus is answering a question brought by some of the disciples about um, when when will these things take place? When will these things take place that will be the sign of, of the end and, and all this stuff? And Jesus tells them, you know, many will come in my name to lead you astray. Um, there'll be wars and rumors of wars. Don't be alarmed. These are just the beginnings of things. Um, earthquakes, famines. Um, they'll, they'll turn you over to councils. You'll be beaten in the synagogues. Um, you know, and, and they'll bring you to trial. And when they bring you to trial, don't worry about what you're going to say. Don't be anxious. The Spirit will, will give you the words. Um Brother will deliver brother over to death. A father, his child, children will rise against parents and have them put to death. Ah. And then, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. And it's really just that, that last little bit there. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And that is not to say that what he means there is that, like, in order to be saved, you must endure to the end. Like, in a sense that you're enduring so it kind of like you might you you're going to endure suffering and persecution all this stuff and if you are able to endure all that to the end then you will be saved he's not saying that um what what in in the context here is enduring to the end is remaining in faith that is how we endure um it is not like gritting our teeth and and um you know being able to, to deal with of our own, you know, power, whatever strength to, you know, get through affliction or trial or whatever. It is to cling to faith through it all. I mean, that is, that is our endurance that saves us. It is the faith that, that Christ has given us through the Holy Spirit. Um, that faith is, is what we cling to that, that we endure with to the end. And so, and that, that's, I mean, that's really, if, if we die in faith, we're saved, right? <laughs> um, it's it's pretty pretty straightforward there. Um, the the thing about that, and, and kind of what Jesus is talking about, because it, it sounds it doesn't sound great. What Jesus is saying is like, yeah, you know, there's going to be a whole bunch of bad stuff happening, and that's just the beginning. Um, you know, things things are you know going to get pretty bad. <laughs> um, the the thing about, you know, what, what, what our faith, um, you know, enables us to, to thrive, not just endure, but to thrive in this world because we're, all of us deal with, with suffering, um, stress, uh, sorrow, grief, uh, contending with evil, all these things, temptations of sin. We, we all, um, struggle with these things and, and really, so the, the, the two options you have are to give in to those things and just, you know, accept them and, and embrace them. And that would be the way of unbelief or would be to the way of faith is to suffer them, <laughs> to endure them. And uh, this is why I will often say, and I've, I've said this in Bible studies and whatnot, that, you know, the, the, the call of a Christian or, or my, my job as, as a pastor, really, when you get down to it, is to prepare you for to, to live as a Christian, but, but really to prepare you to die. Um, because, the, and, and the, why I say that is because when we look at the world and just existing in this life, in this world, I don't really, you know, you don't need me to tell you, you know, how to, how to enjoy or, or whatever, or to, to do whatever that you want to in this life. I mean, if, if you wanted to go and do whatever, you, you know what you're doing. 
<laughs> um, now, I might have some words about that and say, well, that's not good. <laughs> you know, this is not aligned with God's word and all that. But you you can determine your own way of existing and, and live your life, and you don't need me to, to instruct you in that. Um, if things are going great in your life, okay, you, you, you don't need me <laughs> to tell you how to, to how to deal with that. Right, you you probably enjoy that. You're thankful now, I would say like praise God for it, thank God for it, you know, lift up praise to Him for it. But other than that, you know, uh, you don't need me to to prepare you for that. Um, what you need as a Christian is to be prepared to face the the sufferings and and the um, enduring those things, the be, being hated for Jesus' name, um, for the afflictions that come, and to to endure them. You know that that we. Um, the, the most the, the times that we are closest or brought closest to Christ are in our in our sufferings you know we, we, we are drawn near to him in our sufferings drawn near to his suffering on the cross um, that is where we find um, you know the, the shelter and comfort and peace because we, we are drawn to the cross in which he carried that suffering so when we are enduring that as we as we're brought closer to Christ in his suffering we see that his suffering is our suffering and he's taken it for us and from us. Um, and so really it is to prepare you for that and then to prepare you for the one thing in this life that, that you will not be prepared for, which is death. Um, and so that is, that's why, we, you know, as a pastor, I try to proclaim the gospel as much as possible, the, the promise of the resurrection, because in this life, really, you know, this death is, is the, the, the great unknown for us and is terrifying. Um you know, we, we, we see it, 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 when it happens to others, it leaves, you know, it takes a part of us with it. You know, when, when we lose a loved one, part, feel, we feel like a piece of us has been taken away. We grieve, we're, we're sorrowful, it, it remains with us. Um, and then when we face death, it's, it's a, we don't know. <laughs> you know, we don't know what it's going to feel like, um, how the experience is going to go. Um, and if you're, not, uh, if you're not a believer, well, then you don't know what's on the other side. If anything, it's just nothing. It's just done. You're just gone. And that's terrifying. So, um, you know, the whole of, of our Christian faith is is hearing the, the proclamation of the gospel, the, the good news that, you know what? Death has been dealt with. Death has been taken away. The, the sting of death is gone because Jesus took it away for, uh, uh, from us um, so that we can face the worst the greatest unknown and the most terrifying thing that we could ever conceive of, death, we can face that unafraid. We can face it without fear, knowing that Christ has has taken care of that for us, and that when we close our eyes in this life, we will open them in the next. Um, and so, you know, enduring to the end, the one who endures to the end will be saved. So we cling to that faith. That's why, you know, it's so important to to be encouraged in the faith, strengthen the faith, be in the word, um, listen, you know, hear the word, receive it. Um, you know, whether it's through you know, morning prayer videos like this or, or, or online services or, well, I mean, ideally you're going in person to service and you're receiving it right there within in a community of believers. Um, but to be strengthened in that daily because that is how we endure to the end. Is is we are are being built up in that in that faith. We are receiving the blessings of God continually that that we might be strengthened to face whatever the day throws at us, whatever life throws at us. Um, and so this is you know we we read all this stuff that Jesus says like this is what you're going to face, and it sounds like a lot and it is, um, but we endure, we endure through those things. Um, you know, the world is, is messed up because it's, it's broken in sinfulness. We are broken in sinfulness. But thanks be to God, he redeems us, just as he will redeem the world on the last day. Um, so that is our, our peace, our comfort, our joy, our everything. That's how, you know, it's how you can get up every day joyfully, no matter what's going on. You know, joyfully with tears, joyfully in fear, joyfully in pain, Um all these things, whatever we might be enduring, we endure it with a, a measure of joyfulness because we know Christ has saved me. Christ is with me. Christ is for me. Christ will bring me through. So, um, so yeah, good stuff. Gospel's pretty good. I recommend it highly. <laughs> okay, so that was Mark 13, verse 13. Um, but the beginning of Mark 13 is the 
greater discourse of that. So there we go. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Uh, sorry, I caught a glimpse of myself in the uh, video here and with the red and it just, I'm like, oh, Santa Claus. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a great day today. I hope your Friday goes well and I will see you tomorrow. So until then, peace be with you.